This is a story about a fly who speaks jazz. As you listen, see if you can pick out all the other languages the fly hears while he's trying to find his way to the jazz club. Then listen for how the fly uses those sounds when he creates a whole new way to play drums. A fly buzzed by, it was late in the day, and he was lost. So we flew to a frog that was sitting on a log, and asked the frog which way to town. Zabazaboo, zabazee, zaroni. Zabazaboo, zabazee, zaroni. The frog didn't get the way the jazz fly talked. Ribbit the frog answered. Ribbit, ribbit. The fly flew to a hog in a bog. He stayed clear of the mud to keep his black tux clean and asked the hog which way to town. Zabazaboo, zabazee, zaroni. Zabazaboo, zabazee, zaroni. Oink, the hog answered. Oink, oink. The fly saw a donkey short and gray, so he flew to ask him the way. Zabazaboo, zabazee, zaroni. Zabazaboo, zabazee, zaroni. The donkey just began to bray. Hee-haw, hee-haw. At last the fly flew to a furry dog. One more time he asked. Zabazaboo, zabazee, zaroni. Zabazaboo, zabazee, zaroni. Roof, 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 barked the pooch right away. She pointed her nose to say, go that way. Roof, 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 roof. The jazz fly flew past weeds and clover till he reached a street that was paved all over. He leaned left down the alley, right through the door. He saw fancy waiters creeping all across the floor. Beetles and maggots had come to hear the show. They were dining with the locusts by the fireflies glow. The band was looking antsy. It was half past eight. They grumbled, man, this fly is always late. The fly tucked dead his sleeves, strolled to his drums, twirled around his brushes, and counted off a song. Za, za, z, 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 z. Willie the worm inched up and down his bass. Nancy the gnat sashayed with her sax. Centipede hit the piano keys like a man with a hundred hands. The fly swished with his brushes, thumped his bass drum, made his cymbals rings and beep. Ping, ping. Then, like a chef stirring dinner in a pot, he put it all together and dished it out hot. Zap, ding, zap, doom, baby. Swish, zap, a boom, zap, a z, zap. Ooh, the fly was jamming, not scamming, but swimming like a salmon. Queen B sat down with a huff. This band plays is good, but that's not enough. I want a sound that'll make bugs shout. I want a new beat, or this band is out. The fly, who'd been very confident until now, suddenly felt kind of small. He knew he'd have to come up with something different if the jazz bugs were to keep their jobs at the jazz club. So he thought, and thought, until... The fly recalled the sounds he had heard that day. He mixed them all up in a brand new way. He crossed a bridge, stepped beyond the line, took a chance and began to shine. Swish, zoom, zabba da boop, ribbit, 
ribbit. Zabba da dom bang! Oink, oink. Swish zap, zabba, zabba, hee ha, hee. A zabba, rubba, roof, roof, roof. Zabba da dabba da dabba da dabba da hee ha, rooney. Oink, zabba, hee ha, ribbit, roof. Well, the Beatles and the maggots stopped eating their chow. Willie and Nancy and Sammy said, Wow! The cockroach waited, shouted, Go, man, go! Dig that fly, he can really blow! The joint was hopping, bopping, wriggling on the floor. They never heard a sound like this before. No word got out about the jazz bug sound, about the white hot drummer who broke new ground. Beatles packed the club, locusts came by a swarm. The jazz bug's names went up in lights. And to make sure he never again lost his way, the fly picked up his friends in a limo each day. And here's what it sounded like when all those critters squeezed inside that fine stretch limousine. 